And you know what? Another thing I wanted to say, those good-hearted folks I knew, ever since I started living here, they do remind me of my friends from New Hope Leeward. And I never even know that everyone's been going through a lot. Most of all, importantly, everyone's been getting seriously hurt. And if you guys already knew about one of them, the friend, I mean, the family members of my friends, even you are the parents of those friends of mine, they got seriously hurt. And they're part of your lives too. And they just got seriously hurt as well. And someone claimed to us that you're the one who told them to do that. But I don't really want to believe what else is new. But after what you guys did was really wrong. Because no one doesn't want to go anywhere. And they didn't want to work in the same job where I work at. Nor go out to their favorite places or eat their favorite food. Or do anything that makes them happy in our lives. Look, to be honest, I don't know what's gotten into you as an adult already. I'm only engaged... Going to be married, 26-year-old, learn disability, anxiety, and an ASD human being who had to struggle through the, her whole life for the last six years, being three years at that crazy restaurant. Then to hear, all this got to stop, and I'm completely moved on. And I'm trying to have a long-term of recovery in order to close that gap that really affected my life. From what I know, not just from myself, I did it for myself and do it for my friends and my loved ones who's family to me as well. For what I know so long so well, the only thing is stop and ask yourself, what am I doing? Am I doing the right thing? But think of others before yourself because you never know what you're missing out on. From what I found out from KW and my friend Danny, you gotta think of others before yourself. For you guys as a parent, you didn't know that we made a lot of good deeds. And many kids who loved my singing, dancing, my voice dubs, you guys may not know, never have, and never will be. I'm sorry if it sounds harsh. The reason why we all trust you, those amazing people surrounding you have trust you because they believe who you used to be, not what you all became. You're supposed to stop and think of others before yourself. I've been seeing a lot of people like Amanda Todd, Phoebe Prince, ex Alex Libby, and many others who have gone through a lot. So is Cameron Boyce and Guhara. Trust me if I say this, you need to stop and at least make amends. If not, you totally failed everything. And of course, for you as an adult, and you want to be successful and gain everything you wanted, but you lose a lot of people's love and trust and their belief in you as the person you knew for a long time, a very long time. I would say I never should have believed what you were doing may be the right thing. And I never should have realized what you guys do may be good, but it turned out to be one commitment of a red flag. I didn't even know what you guys were gonna do is really doing that behind your loved one's back. Even you didn't even know who that mastermind was. And honestly, to me, I don't know who that person was. But being a standby is something I'm not really proud to used to be from the past when I was a kid, just like Mandy V, Jesse V, and many others in the past when they were teenagers. But right now, I am an adult, a grown fool one, who grown up with special education for my whole entire life. If I wore a cubicle in a tight space with a wall walling me up into a big, large bubble of a whole big ocean of a whole new stage of this whole world, you would have realized what it's like to be in my shoes. Would you? And if you can't see how wonderful my friends like KW, Inferno Nick, FT77, Stein, and many of those good-hearted people out there, and especially for your art men, you guys may not have never will know about him. Because your actions have made him hurt way too far as well. Think about your actions before you take it to the next level. You cannot be a successful occupational person of a leader, supervisor, wherever you are right now, and to gain whatever you want. Because you never know what you're going through is really going to push someone's life off the edge and someone will cling to you. You've made it way too far. And that's what happens if you let the power of your anger and darkness get a little too far 
and never been unpunished and never realized it back a quick of splash. If you can't see how wonderful life truly is as a special needs student or how wonderful these good hearted amazing people I met, not just through a chat, but a verb, this kind of face like me, then you're not the ones that we knew. And I don't want to get this way too far. Think of others before yourself. You can't be successful by turning people down. And to prove that, it's time that you have to try doing the right thing. But if all fails, I guess I'm wrong for telling you guys that. And I'm sorry for wasting your time. Well, well that was done and clear right off to the part. The reason people listen up, I really had to say this. You have so many ways to make spread awareness to make all the negativity stop. And not just with all the bullying, but all the bad things that's affected you in your life. You have so many ways to express your anger in a healthy, positive way. A healthy lifestyle way, whatever you do. But make it really good and make it really, really, really motivating. Sorry, I'm gassy, but what's important is you cannot let all those bad things stop you from doing the right thing. And for me, having a speech problem, for those of you guys who have never known about this, some of you do, some of you don't. The important thing is you have a right to be yourself. And I want to say each and every one has our own styles. And we all have our true perspectives. Even if we don't know what we have been diagnosed with. Even if we have some different mindsets, emotions, and feelings. Emotion and feelings are the same thing. And it doesn't have to be appealing to everyone. You have a right to be yourself. You have to move on from all the things that hurt you so negatively so you can continue on with your life and just be happy with all the things that you got. But if they can never see who you really are, they're not the ones for you. And you have to understand that if you never feel like there's nothing there, always, always stop and give yourself to breathe in and breathe out and think about all the happy memories and those thoughts that you knew ever since you were a kid or you know from your vacation or anything always know that there's so many good-hearted people who loves you for who you are you've been surrounded with them for a short term to a long time and they all stick to you because they can see what's in your heart and nothing is not going to be all that different. And they're not going to feel any different once they knew the real you. And not the makeup you were. And not everything's all good as it seems. And the reason why I did some makeup and so many crazy and extravagant stuff. Because I love to express myself. And that's how I am. And I always do that to keep myself to protect my true identity who I used to be. Well, since you guys already know from my old YouTube channel, unless people mean well, I'll be ready to let you guys know what it's like to be having autism spectrum disorder. Including having a learned disability, speech problem, and anxieties. And of course, I might explain that anytime as soon as I get off from work again. So, I'm really gonna be sure i mean i want to reassure you guys i want to continue more of the tin tin phantom content and i wanted to do more to relive my childhood memories not just the tin tin but many crossovers my favorite childhood book comics manga and cosplaying so i'm mostly active on tiktok right now i'm still trying to get the hang of it and i can't have tiktok I mean, the TikTok app onto my Motorola phone here. Because it's impossible and I can't hold up more than one app. It can only hold four apps, I think. So, I'm leaving this whole message to you guys so you can possibly understand. And maybe the first time I am scared. But it feels really good to let it out in, a, in this kind of way. To reduce my stress like a video diary. 
And of course, I want to do a lot of vlogs about how I got to realize I have autism spectrum disorder or how I remember it so far when I was a kid in high school or wherever. But you have so many ways to tell your story. You don't have to hold it back. I know things are not what it seems on the social media, but do not believe those false, fake influencers. But follow those who are really true to themselves no matter what. And never stop doing you for you. You have a right to be yourself in a positive, healthy lifestyle. Because you are a true human being. And your dreams can only come true in can'ts, not can'ts. Never stop dreaming and never stop believing. And thank God I learned that from Michelle Pham. You guys got to check out her YouTube channel. But the important thing is, I wanted to tell you guys that I'm really am sorry. So many of the negativity was going up way too far. But you have so many ways to spread happiness. But always listen to a song like True Colors by Justin Timberlake and Anna Kendrick. And there's so many things that you can always understand. I mean, you can always try to move on. And there's so many things that you really want to do with your life. Always remember that you have someone who loves you for you. And I believe someone above, even you may not be religious, but I know he's watching over you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time in the same video. Bye.